Today, we learned Good Samaritan Hospital will be, will be closing sooner than many expected. Residents learned the news as they had the chance to weigh in on the future of the site at a community forum. However, many people are still hoping the hospital will stay open. Two News reporter Dana Smith was at that forum, joining us live with new information. Brooke, there's two forums happening today. There is one set for tonight, but one happened earlier this afternoon where protesters gathered outside, still hoping Premier Health will reconsider plans to shut the hospital down. Keep on talking, marching up to freedom land. Local pastors and others in the West Dayton community sang hymns and held signs outside of today's community forum on the Good Sam closure, once again calling on Premier Health to think again. This should not be a business decision. This should be a decision about what the community needs, and they need Good Sam, and that's why they should not be closing this hospital. Stay Good Sam! Premier Health announced today Good Sam will be closing no later than August 29th. The plan is to demolish everything except for two buildings and make it shovel ready for whatever comes next. I do feel that Premier Health has abandoned West Dayton and to give uh, $10 million towards re redevelopment uh, is Judas money. It's, it's, it's um, throwing a, um, a band-aid on a gunshot wound. Protesters say Good Sam's closure will not only eliminate jobs, but also leave hundreds in that community who've relied on Good Sam without adequate access to health care. I relied on Good Sam. They saved my life. I had a blood clot in my knee. Had not I got to Good Sam on time, I would not be talking to you today. Planning Next has been tasked with determining the site's future. Officials held a community forum today asking the public to chime in with ideas. But we're trying to make sure that those medical services stay on the west side of Dayton and the hospital, if in fact it can stay open, that it stays open. And if not, that the, the, the services that, are going, that we're going to lose, that they're replaced. In announcing Good Sam's closure, Premier Health pointed to high operating costs and noted Miami Valley Hospital is only five miles away, so it didn't make sense to operate two hospitals so close to one another. Live in Dayton, Dana Smith, 5 on 2.